thought I'd put together a little video on a new little clamp that I've just come up with. It's a 3D printed clamp for putting together picture frames. And I make quite a few small picture frames and they're always a nuisance to deal with. So this actually helps out a lot. So that's the finished product. It's got a few moving parts in it. It's all very simple to print up. It's actually got a, a carrier that's made of two pieces with a couple of wheels in there that allow the string to sort of move past it freewheeling. There's some M3 screws holding it together and a key joint up here. There's a plunger that's got an M6 threaded rod glued into it and that accepts string through there. Moves into here like this and I think as you can see the little mechanism here if I can get it in, there it is just allows you to sort of draw a string in through there taking up slack in the string. A couple of washers and a little wing nut to pull it all together. So I've made a few of these, that's the first generation one I made. Made it out of ABS and I found that it wasn't quite strong enough. So these ones are out of PLA and they seem to be doing the job quite well. So to use it, you have to have of course your little frame parts or mitered joints. I've just sort of mocked up a little frame here, not really used for anything. You need a loop of string that's roughly the right length. should have a bit of slack in it so that you can actually put it around. This is a little bit fiddly. It doesn't need to be too tight. It can actually be quite loose on this thing. Suggest your strength. Center it up a bit. And then there's the actual clamp itself. So wind it out so that the little plunger is out. And then just hook the string onto the plunger. And pull it taut. And this thing, just wind it up. And it'll actually pull the entire thing quite tight. Very tight actually. That's why I made the wing nut so small. I found with a larger wing nut, it could apply too much pressure. Just keep pulling it up. It actually pulls up quite quickly. And before you know it, that string is sort of like guitar string tight. And the frame is there like that. It doesn't move. It's quite sturdy. Holds together really well. So anyway, I'm fairly happy with how that turned out. I hope somebody else can make use of it too.